So today you were involved in, this, in the Academy of Global Governance for your training, but you come from an agency in Ghana, and you were saying that Ghana has been very successful, and we all uh, trust that and we know the data, as far as attracting foreign direct investment. And you mentioned several areas where the improvement has been particularly strong, like uh, you give example of best practice, you give example of uh, legal uh, diminishing, lowering bureaucracy, uh, legal restriction and things like that. What I wonder is, do you think there is any area where your agency can really make a difference in further improving this constraint to foreign direct investment? Thank you. Um, the areas of, in of improvement still remain very broad and large and it covers even the areas that we have seen tremendous improvement, like the institutional capacity building and the legal frameworks. All these things had seemed to be working to attract the investors. Um, the main challenge, like I said in my lecture, was about land acquisition. But even that is being refined in such a way that um, it will be more fluid in the very near future. So, basically, all the other things that we do, we can still step up our game, and that should see further um, investment in our economy. You seem to be fairly successful in attracting investment. Do you think we have been equally successful in attracting students? Do you think that this uh, executive training uh, will have an impact on the people from ANCTA, WTO, ITC that have come and attended it? I have interacted with a few of your students. I'm very um, inquisitive and I, my, the feeling I have is that you are pro producing a lot of very confident students. And personally, I'm going to recommend this institution to Four of, my, four of my friends, and I think it's a very good place to come, to come and study governance and good governance. Okay, thank you very much. My pleasure.